I think that this is a consequence of already 50 years in church of the relativism concerning the first commandment. You shall not have other gods beside me. And who is me? The Holy Trinity. This is the true God. Not only there is one God. Well, the Muslims say there is one God. No, our God is the only one true God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is God. This is God. And not only there is one God. Of course, but who is the one God? We know him. And the Muslims reject him. <coughs> Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Reject him. And therefore, this is a false religion. And therefore, but since the council, and partly because of the document of the council, Nostra Etate, and then the, the so-called ecumenism, the false ecumenism, which unfortunately even the Holy See propagated and is still propagating, and the bishops, the majority, they say, well, all religions ultimately are ways to salvation. So, why we will bother the Muslims? They are believing in one God. Okay. We are adoring with the Muslims the same God. This is written in Lumen Gentium 16. So it's a consequence. When we, when we are adoring together with the Muslims one God, so I have not to convert him. We are adoring, this, it says, the text of the council. It is a logical consequence to me, the behavior now of the Pope Francis and of, of the majority of the uh, West European bishops, to even to welcome the Muslims and say, oh, you will be all saved. Don't bother. And this is ultimately, for me, a treasury of Christ, a betrayal, a betrayal of Christ, of these clergy and bishops who are in such an irresponsible manner uh, denying Christ in some way and uh, refusing to give these poor souls of Muslims the knowledge of Christ. This is for me a great act of anti-charity for, for, for my neighbor Muslim, who has to, who has, they have to say him the, the happiness to know Christ. And, I, and therefore, when I am, as a Catholic, a priest, bishop, and so, even a pope, uh, don't act actively, of course, with, re with respect and with charity, we cannot, as the apostle did, we propose them the faith, not obliging them, not forcing him. Never the apostles did this. The church never did this. And so this is a consequence of the relativism for me, which already reigned in the false ecumenism 50 years in the church since, but started with the council also. <laughs>